These two young, amazing, beautiful women are singers, songwriters, entertainers. They do this for a living. They are social media sensations. They uh, have a YouTube following of over 620,000 subscribers. They um, just came out with a new book called The Clear Skin Diet, Ending Acne. It's just another of the myriad reasons why we want to go whole food, plant strong. Come on up, you two. <laughs> Nina and Randa. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> two rays of sunshine right oh, there. Thank you so much. <laughs> wow, what an amazing introduction. That was so awesome. Yeah. <laughs> We are so lucky to have been able to know the Esselstyns pretty much our whole life. Yeah, you guys are our biggest inspirations. And uh, Rip opened so many doors for this book and gave us ideas. So shout out to Rip. Thank you. We couldn't have done this without you. So a little bit about us. My name is Nina Nelson. I'm Randa Nelson. We're lifelong vegans. So we grew up a little bit different, I'd say. Uh, super active, doing dance, ballet, soccer. We were pretty normal, healthy kids. We're from mm -hmm. California. Like, totally. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we were normal, healthy kids until about age 20. Something struck. And, and it that struck was bad. Yeah. Acne. And the thing about acne is that it's painful. Not only is it painful on your face and you can feel it, mm -hmm. it's psychologically painful because it makes you feel out of control. People mm -hmm. say, oh, it's not a big deal. You'll outgrow it. You're being dramatic, but it is a big deal. Mm -hmm. It's a big deal. <laughs> and when you have acne, you just feel completely out of control. You're just wondering, when is that next breakout coming? I remember when we were in London, you know, we're visiting all the boys and the sites. British accents. <laughs> we would like look at each other and we'd be like, oh, is this our lighting? Can you tell if we have acne? I mean, all we were thinking about is trying to cover up our acne. And we discovered that, I'm sure all of you guys learned this weekend, and maybe you already knew, that you can cure acne as long as you follow this diet, as, as well as neurodegenerative diseases and all of that stuff. So you can say no to acne. All right, so let's, let's see what this acne looked like, right? You guys ready? Ooh. Boom. Can you see how bad that is? You can't even see how bad the redness is. So this right, is let's actually, see me. Yeah. This is me, actually. I took this photo because I had changed my diet, and I took a photo like, wow, my skin looks so much better. Can you believe it? Yeah. Um, and that's and me that's in, the the background. in the background looking at her face, because when you have acne and you're constantly getting new breakouts, you're just, there's a screen over there, Randa. Don't okay. worry. <laughs> you can, you're just looking to see if, if any new zits have come. Like, you're, you're obsessed with it. So that's why Randa's in the mirror looking at herself. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think the, it's hard to talk about, but so acne makes you really depressed because when you're talking to people, you're just worried about what people are looking at and that's your face. And so I remember going into my parents' office and I said, I feel like Robin Williams. And four days before he'd actually just committed suicide. That was when it happened. And my mom said, get your swimsuit on, we're going to the pool. Of course, I didn't want to go to the pool because I was like, no, there's people there. They're going to look at me. Like, everyone's going to notice. And she said, you know, I was in entertainment and I was also depressed because I thought, like, I can't do entertainment anymore. And she would send us photos of actresses who also had acne. And she'd say, you know, that didn't stop them. It's not going to stop you. And she would send Cameron Diaz, Megan Fox. And in a way, it made me feel better. But I was always like, well, theirs isn't as bad as mine, mom. They can cover that with makeup. I can't cover mine up. Yeah. So this is us before acne. This is us in Hawaii filming a music video. And actually, when we were seven, 16 years old, we were discovered. We were in line. And a, a, it ended up being the head of a talent agency. He said, remember this night? This is the night you got discovered. So <laughs> our parents were freaking out. They're like, this sounds like a sham. Yeah, but it wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> we were super excited, and we started working immediately. These are actually some of our first headshots. We have no face makeup on, very minimal makeup on our 
eyes, and this is actually us, our first, first job, job with Justin Bieber. You guys know Super cute. You know that song? You smell, I smell. You know that song? Yeah. <laughs> no, that's what the music video was. So that's us on the ends, and this is us on set of a movie, and this is us with the twin Brian brothers. They're tennis so players. So cute. Super right? cute. Too old for us. They're married, I think, now. So. They're twins. That ship has sailed. <laughs> this is us on set of our music video, and we even got into some modeling as well. So we were pretty excited about starting our career in show business. We were stoked. We're like, we're making it. This is <laughs> what we're going to do. And then all of a sudden, acne. acne. <laughs> OK, so we're like, well, let's go to the dermatologist. The dermatologist is going to fix this for us. We started using creams that would work a little bit, but then it would come back worse. We were prescribed antibiotics, which uh, worked for a little bit, but that's just like a temporary fix, and then it would come back even worse. worse. And we would spend thousands of dollars on creams, antibiotics, facials, anything to get rid of this horrible acne. And our life was basically just put on hold. We didn't go out, we didn't see our friends, and this is how we felt, just completely hopeless 20 and years old, wouldn't go on a date, that's a big deal. It's a big deal. <laughs> when, you, when you want a date. <laughs> and I remember, I think a really low point for us was when we were flown out to, to American Idol, to New Orleans, to audition for American Idol. And we got to perform in front of the judges, Keith Urban, Harry Connick Jr. They're all smaller in person. <laughs> and Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> we got to meet Ryan Seacrest. And I remember, all we could think about was our acne. We weren't thinking about our performance. And I remember we had to wear floppy hats just to try to cover up our acne. We did not want to be in, on TV. No. I just remember before we were flown out, I had a panic attack, like bawling my eyes out in the car. I was like, mom, dad, I don't yeah. want people to see me. Like everyone's going to see this on TV. It's so embarrassing. And we woke up at 4 a.m. not to practice the songs, but to cake on makeup. makeup because we were so, so worried. And we just remember both of us were like, as Ryan is interviewing us, we're thinking they that everybody think is going to think like, oh, these girls are a joke. What are they doing here? That's, that's the kind of thoughts that acne gives you. Like, yeah. you, it's, it makes you super, super negative. And I remember on the, the plane ride home, we cried and we were like, okay, that's it. We cannot be in show business. This, we can't go out in public even. We were just too down. And this is when I got back from American Idol. And this day, I had to go in and meet my agent because we had just gotten new headshots. But we took the headshots while we were on antibiotics, so our skin was clear. Yeah. But so this is what we had to go in looking like to see our agent. And he said, honey, let me know when it clears up. And we can start sending you out again because, you know, we can't, you can't be sent out with this kind of acne because you literally will not be called back in and it makes the agent look bad too. And to be honest, we were like satisfied with him saying, let me know when it clears up because we were just like, he's going to drop us. There's no way they can't want us anymore. So um, this is also another view of my acne. And this is the same day I went to visit my agent. And not only that, I just remember feeling like, it feels like bugs crawling, crawling in, your in your face. It was that bad. Here's more pictures of Nina that you saw. So, how did we get rid of this acne? <laughs> well, this is a photo of the 5 Freeway. One day we were going up to visit our grandparents, driving up to San Francisco, talking with our parents. What, what, what are we doing about this acne? It's like the only thing we mm -hmm. can talk about. Now I'm only talking about like boys, obviously. Yes. You can't tell from the speech, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my dad said, well, well, what about Dr. McDougal? Does he have, look up something on his website, does he have anything on acne? So Randa pulls up the website, mm -hmm. I remember this so vividly, and there was an article that talked about how there are cultures in the world where nobody gets acne. And we're like, what's the diet, what is it? <laughs> and all you have to do, it's a vegan diet, but avoiding overt fats. And, and making, so we thought, well, we yeah. eat peanut butter, we eat soy, soy sometimes avocado. We have, exactly, and those are the things he said to avoid if you're having acne, and we were like, Eureka. We're like, that's an easy that fix. We can do that. So that day we started. And within six weeks, within three days, I could feel that my skin was getting better. But within six weeks, the transformation was so dramatic. We weren't getting new acne. We were just left with more like hyperpigmentation because the marks take a while to heal on your cheeks. Now, luckily, they're all healed up 100%. So this is me. <laughs> and uh, this is a photo that we also took at the time when we cleared our skin. And they always say, smile in a photo. That's what you're supposed to do. But this, we weren't told to smile. This is like <laughs> genuine happiness. We're like, woo, we got a life back. We can make YouTube videos. We can go on auditions. 
Right, so we had a growing YouTube channel, and we decided we wanted to make a video on how we cured our acne. And this video went viral pretty fast. It got over half a million views, and it ended up getting picked up by the Daily Mail, and then was translated into 20 different languages. So our acne story was going around the world, and we were so excited because we know how it feels dealing with acne, and for this information to get out there was super exciting. So people started writing us, what do you eat? Send me recipes, I need to know. And so we started making <laughs> uh, videos all about what we eat on our channel, and so our subscribers started trying the diet too, taking the advice, and they would write back to us and say, it's whoa, working it's me. working for me too. So this is a subscriber that sent in a photo when she followed. This is Kira, followed it, and she had tried Accutane twice, and it failed her, the only thing that cured her acne was changing her diet. And we were actually told when, when our acne was at its worst that we should take Accutane too. And our mom had an autoimmune disease 20 years ago. She was able to cure it by getting information from Dr. John McDougall. And I said at the time, he cured my mom without drugs. He can do it for me too. Yeah, that's what happened. So people kept writing to us saying, what do you eat? We want recipes, what's your skincare? And so we thought, okay, Let's, Let's write, write a, a book. book. <laughs> <laughs> and we told you guys that Rip was a big help in this. And he was the one who said, do, do a study. study. He said, take people, put them on the diet, and let's see what happens. So that's what we did. We held a small pilot study. So, but how do you find people to be in a pilot study? Obviously, you, see, you walk around every day and you see people with acne, but you can't walk up to someone and say, hey, I could see that acne on your face. I have the secret because that'll make them feel really yeah, bad. That's the last thing that they want to hear. And so what we did was we made a sign with the before and afters and I just stood at our local university and I said, this is me. As people walk by, this is me. And people would walk up, you know, out of curiosity. What's the cream? What's the pill? What is it? I'd be like, no, it's a diet. We're hosting a study. It's free. It's free. We'll give you all the food. You just have to come in every week. And like, follow this it. sounds a little fishy. This is too good to be true. Okay. So they came. This is us with doctor, this is Dr. Luenda. We got a medical doctor from Kaiser to supervise the study, and we would have weekly meetings where we would talk about how we're feeling, if they had any questions, how, you know, how, they love it, how they're loving it. And it was like a support group, so it was really awesome. And then we ended up opening it up to the public, and we would have people submit their photos of their acne, and then we would accept them into the Facebook group where we could have live streaming and teach the information that way. But we wanted it to be bad enough acne where mm -hmm. they, we could really, like, hopefully change their life. So, yeah, this is a picture of the Facebook group that we held where people, the, for, for the, the people that submitted, the uh, people from the intervention program would actually go in and comment back because they learned about the diet, so it became this, like, huge support, it was really, really awesome. So, but what happened to the people, to these people who went on the clear skin diet, as we call it now? So this is Elle who submitted, this is what she said to submit. She said, I've been struggling with acne for years and tried everything, but it suddenly became a lot worse with disfiguring cysts appearing all over my face. It is so bad, there is no way to cover it up. I understand how that feels. I would love the opportunity to join the free acne program. I would attend via the live stream on Facebook. And this is the photo that Elle sent to us. We accepted her. And this is what she had to say a year later. It took a few months before I began to see any results. However, I knew that my acne was very severe and that it took longer for some people. So I stuck with it. After a few months, I began to notice the cysts were receding. After six months, my skin was clear. And this is Elle a year later. <laughs> they feel like our little babies. Yeah. <laughs> So this is another submission, Monica, age 16, and she said, I have struggled with acne all my life, since I was just eight years old. I am a consistent viewer of Nina and Randa's channel, but I do not fully have the knowledge to eat in a way that will clear my skin. Getting accepted would change my life. We accepted her, and within 10 days, you can see that her acne is very significantly decreased, and within two months, she's completely clear. And here's another shot you can see on her forehead. How amazing her complexion is. <laughs> so this is a submission, oh, this is actually a before and after of a girl named Ashley, who at one point her skin was so bad that she said that she dropped out of college to move back in with her mom because she was just too embarrassed. And did she go on Accutane? Yes, yeah, she, she went on Accutane and it didn't work. And then she followed the clear skin diet and within 24 days, 
skin clear. And she said that the secret to her, for her for having clear skin was the frozen veggie section at Costco. <laughs> this is another before and after. Danny, age 16, within two months, no acne. This is Brian Turner, and he used a lot of the same principles of the clear skin diet. He was actually a coach for our clear skin acne intervention program. And he had tried Accutane for two years, and it failed him. The only thing that worked was changing his diet. This is a photo of a girl named Robin. She said that she was dealing with cystic hormonal acne around her chin and jawline for seven years, and that the only thing that worked was changing her diet, going on the clear skin diet. Another before and after, this is Kendall. She has the kind of results that people get jealous over because within <laughs> 11 days, her skin is completely clear. And I wanted to show another picture of Kendall. So she went on this cruise ship and she wasn't able to follow the clear skin diet and her skin broke out. And when she got back, she was like, okay, I'm going right back onto the diet. And within seven days, her skin is clear again. <laughs> and it's amazing because when you have acne, you feel so out of control. So to be able to control your breakouts with, Liberating. with, a, with your food, it's amazing. It's the best feeling in the you world. You don't want to break out before prom or your yes. wedding day. That's, mm -mm. You gotta, no. we can take control of that. <laughs> and so we have all these before and afters and the publisher wanted to make an ad for YouTube to get word about our book and get the diet information out there. And you, uh, our publisher sent the YouTube video to YouTube, and they were like, oh, I'm sorry, we can't accept this. We don't accept mir miracle, miracle cures. cures. And we're like, <laughs> the publisher wrote back and said, oh, this isn't a miracle cure. These are real people. We have a doctor. We have all the information to back this up. And then YouTube wrote back and said, oh, actually, we can't accept this because we don't want to shame people with acne. They compared it to having a, a nose, nose job. job. They wouldn't want to show someone having a nose job because they could shame someone with their original nose. So it's pretty incredible that people would think this is a miracle cure when all it's just it is... a simple diet change. Yeah. So, yeah. So where does this diet come from? It comes from cultures around the world where nobody gets acne. An example was a study from 1946 of the Okinawans where everybody there had no acne. Lucky them. <laughs> so the Okinawan diet was low fat, high in fiber and starch-based, and same for all of the other cultures where there was no acne. You can see the Okinawan diet. They have a lot of their food comes from sweet potatoes, 69%, and their diet is over 80% complex carbs. So lots of fiber, low in fat, and very minimal animal products. So the keys to clearing acne are very low in animal products, very low in processed foods, and very low in fat. And we have a lot of studies in our book, but I just want to talk about this one really quickly. It's from called 2012. Yes, the Dietary Intervention in Acne. This study concludes, to clear acne, eat fruits and vegetables. Acne is increased by meat, dairy, highly refined foods, Olive oil. <laughs> and high fat foods, <laughs> high calorie intake. This, the study concludes that the same diet that promotes acne derives obesity, type 2 diabetes, cancer, and neurodegenerative diseases. The study conclusions are the most important task of preventative dermatology will be re the reduction of TOR. To reduce acne, reduce calories, processed carbohydrates, dairy products, and animal products. Increase the consumption of vegetables and fruits. Dermatologists should take responsibility for dietary education of their patients. And we don't think they are. We don't think they are taking responsibility for diet, for diet because when we went to see our dermatologist, we would say, is it anything, Is we're, something eating? we're eating? Well, no, you don't eat dairy, so it can't, not be, that. It can't be that. This is what they should, should have prescribed. prescribed us. Starches, potatoes, sweet potatoes, whole grains, fruits, and vegetables. And these are all the foods that you can enjoy. They're comfort foods. You can have brownies, uh, baked fries, bean burgers, all super delicious. And our motto is we... Eat and enjoy. We love to eat simple and it tastes good.
So what is in our book? You can expect recipes, info on physical health, mental health, emotional health, skincare, and how to keep a clear skin environment. So we want to invite you guys or a friend to take the clear skin challenge. It definitely helps when you have support. <laughs> Even if you don't have acne, if you just want to feel your best. So take a before photo, follow the guidelines for six weeks, watch your acne fade away and take an after photo. And if you need support, join us on our Facebook group or clearskindiet.com. Thank you guys so much for listening. Thank you again to RIP for having us. Much aloha.